For years, OpenTunes has been a total game changer for the animation industry. That's why we thought it would be fun to dive deep into it and explore some of the facts you could have missed. So let's get started. The software boasts an extensive history. The story began in the late 1990s when Digital Video SBA, an Italian animation studio, released its software Tunes. As a result of its widespread use and its ability to combine hand-drawn animation with digitally painted ones seamlessly, the software caught the attention of many studios in the animation industry, including Studio Ghibli, which used the software after that to produce many films like The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, Howl's Moving Castle, Ponyo, and The Wind Rises. In 2016, Digital Video collaborated with the Japanese studio Duongo and released the source code of Tunes as a software known as OpenTunes. This new version has been nicknamed Tunes Ghibli Edition because of all the custom features that Tunes has developed over the years for the legendary studio. The announcement of the Tunes open sourcing brought great news for those new companies in the field of anime and young animators who weren't ready to spend thousands of US dollars on Tunes products. This makes it a game changer of 2D animation production that could rewrite the art form's future, possibly leading to a significant increase in drawn animation production. Even after the partnership between Digital Video and Duongo, the premium version is still available. Although OpenTunes was made free and open sourced, the Italian studio continued to develop and market the old and premium version at a competitive price for studios who want to invest in the customization of tunes for big projects. In addition, it comes with many features ranging from powerful drawing and animating tools to advanced compositing and rendering features, making it the ideal software for professional animators and studios. Let's move now to some of the features that are unique to OpenTunes compared to other animation software. Firstly, OpenTunes supports both raster and vector technologies. This is why you'll find three types of levels that you can choose from. The raster type, the tunes type, and the hybrid type, which is called tunes raster, and it merges both. However, when you open the software, everything by default is set up to work with the vector level. The main difference between a standard raster level and a tunes raster level is that the second one has added tunes level functionality and provides features such as paint fills, recoloring of lines, and or areas, and dynamic palettes. With these different types of levels that you can create and use to draw, open tunes is for sure a good option for digital painting. OpenTunes has a range of brush engines for digital painting and animation. These brush engines include Vector, Raster, and Tunes, each with its own set of options and capabilities. Vector brush engines allow for precise control over line art and shapes, while Raster brush engines are ideal for painting with various effects and textures. Tunes brush engine offers a variety of options for creating animation and effects. Furthermore, OpenTunes offers a wide variety of brush brush packs for download, allowing users to customize their brushes and use them in their own projects. Besides providing a powerful array of drawing and painting tools, it also has anti-alias lines, which can be used to create smooth and natural lines. And to ensure that the artwork looks its best, OpenTunes comes up with a range of color management tools such as color sampling and color wheel selection. When we talk about animation software, first thing we should look for is the timeline. And unlike many other animation software, OpenTunes has a vertical timeline. And just like traditional exposure sheets, OpenTunes comes with a digital version called XSheet. It is organized vertically in columns and rows containing layers and frames. Columns are divided into cells, representing the content of that column in a particular frame, allowing users to view and control the timing of all scene elements and organize them into layers. The XSheet features subsheets, which allow users to group columns together and hide them from the main one, which makes it easier to edit and manage big projects. The X sheet also allows users to select and fill all areas between the lines in those areas with a given style. This helps to ensure the artwork is consistent and visually pleasing. Overall, it is a handy tool for animators and digital artists. However, the classic horizontal timeline is also available with the same functionality and serves the same purpose. 
Moving on, OpenTunes provides a powerful scanning tool. OpenTunes supports a powerful scanning tool developed by Studio Ghibli called GTS. It is compatible with the Twain standards and is specialized in hand-drawn animation frames. It was designed to make the scanning process more manageable. GTS allows sequence number scanning for efficient animation in different modes, such as black and white, grayscale, and color, and can detect certain colors within the document and convert them into aliased lines. This function is especially useful for scanning colored liner drawings and other elements such as background and overlays. Moreover, the GTS scanning tool also features auto-centering options to ensure that scanned drawings are adequately centered and are easy to manage and can also be used to clean up the scanned images. In addition to adding unique and creative effects to your project, OpenTunes comes up with a stack of FX plugins. OpenTunes supports a range of FX plugins developed by Duongo that utilize its artificial intelligence technology for image processing, which can be used to add stunning visual effects to animation levels, images, and clips. The plugins are open source and available for free to download. In addition to that, Duongo also developed the plugin effects SDK. They include the effects of automatically changing picture styles by applying deep learning technology and the effect of producing affected incident light like those in classic works before the digitization of the production environment. In general, these plugins are an excellent way to add unique and creative effects to your projects. Now let's talk about programming. OpenTunes has a built-in scripting language for automating tasks. Yes, OpenTunes uses a scripting language. Although it is based on JavaScript and retains a degree of similarity to its syntax, it allows users to create and customize sequences of commands to avoid performing repetitive tasks manually, such as creating and managing shapes, layers, motion paths, and more. Moving on, the source code of OpenTunes can be modified and can be used by anyone free of charge for both commercial and non-commercial projects. That's why the development team of Morvana Project decided to create OpenTunes Morvana Edition. Morvana Edition is a special version of OpenTunes. It includes additional features such as drawing assistance, a new brush engine, an advanced color selector, and an improved UI with a comfortable horizontal timeline to control your animation. This edition of OpenTunes is also free and available in Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. With all these features and functionalities available without any doubt, OpenTunes is one of the best animation apps in the industry, and that's why it's still used in major productions. Even after years of existence, OpenTunes is still shining in professional scenes, from small independent films to large-scale animation productions. Mary and the Witch's Flower, released in 2017 by Studio Ponoc, was the first movie to use the open source version where they used the GTS scanning tool and the software for designing colors and creating special effects. After Ponoc, several studios used the software in their production, such as the animated movie Batman Ninja by Warner Bros. and the movie Belle. The latter was released in 2021 by Studio Chizu, where they decided to use OpenTunes for pencil testing by animators, since it was more stable than the conventional software software they used to use. Now that you know a little more about one of the best 2D animation software, are you willing to give it a try? So that's it for today, we hope this video was useful, and we hope to see you in our next one!